Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming guys and I'm really excited for this video. So what we got right here is actually a mystery box that came from a Bandit Exploration Squad. If you guys aren't subscribed to their channel, make sure you check them out. They're like almost at half a million, so get them there. I mean, we don't have as nowhere near as many, but if we can give them a small boost, let's get them that much closer to half a million. It's right there, but one of my favorite, probably my number one favorite dumpster diving channel on YouTube because they hit all the places I can't hit like Apple Store and it's really fun. But anyway, we exchanged mystery boxes and we got this box back from them to go through. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. Leave this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you also follow us on our social media links will be down in the description below along with the P.O. box if you wanted to send us something. We always open everything on camera. So let's get into this. As you can see, I have not opened it, so I have no idea how to get into it, but I have a knife, so hopefully it's not that bad. Let's try to figure it out. I just like the fragile stickers everywhere. Alright. I was kidding. I'm not fragile. I'm tough. I'm not. I'm somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yes! More paper! Oh, look what kind of box it's in, guys. Dun dun. <laughs> It's just like a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> what the? All right, let's see what we got. Dun dun. See, they use dumpster boxes too, just like me. That's how I ship everything. Everything I've ever shipped in like the past six years has been in dumpster boxes. Why pay for them when you can get them for free? Let's see what we got, guys. Dan and Ant. Dan and Ant. There's so much random stuff in here. You ready? In bubble wrap. Yep. I can't read it. Ready? Two Jeebus gave me from Van Dyke's Race Squad. Hope you and everybody look, they even know your name. Enjoy. Everything including the box, paper, marker, used to write this, and everything inside the boxes you found either dumpster diving or in an abandoned place. That's what I'm talking about. The one we sent back to, everything was found in the dumpster, also including the box. So, let's see what random stuff we can get into in here. This, I feel like I remember this from a certain one video or something, but. Definitely a cool hat. I'm about to wear it, right? Do I look good? <laughs> I feel like a fisher. But a hat, that's kind of cool. And let's see. That is a really tiny dog. Is it even possible to zoom on that? Let's test this camera's abilities. Oh, it did it? Cool. Well, you have a tiny little dog there, which is pretty cool looking, actually. I don't know why I like I like little tiny figures, if you didn't know, on my shelf. I don't know why. I just like it. Um, let's see, another fisherman hat. This one says New York on it. Uh, let's see, bucket hat. Okay, I didn't know the name of it. I knew it has a special name on it. I'm also going to put this on my door because that's pretty cool. And we got some poster here. Let's see who was on the poster. Try not to get paper cuts. I'm not really sure who it is. Is this one of the Paul? Jake Paul. <laughs> yes! I can't wait to put this on my wall right by my bed and fantasize every night before I go to bed. <laughs> oh man, that's good. <laughs> this is something I need to do right here. If you've never seen this before, it's actually like a lopsided die almost. It's got a bunch of different exercises on it. So you just throw it and see what you gotta do. See, the one I personally use in my head consists of sit on the computer, play Xbox, play on my computer, and eat. That's the one I have uh, I use every day. So, this one might help me a little bit. It might help me live a little longer. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hey, I actually need this. Mine just, I left mine in the hotel in Atlantic City when I left. I forgot to bring it back with me, so I was about to have to go get another one of these. So, this is actually good. Let's see what's in here. In a GameStop bag. A oh, wham. From the recent video. I remember this, too. It's a Nokia. It's one of the dummy phones, but look at the back of it. I remember this. That big $10,000 phone. <laughs> I like the misprints. I don't know why. It just makes me laugh like that. I honestly feel like GameStop's dumb enough that like, they just put a sticker on it instead of just covering it up and replacing it. They just throw it in the trash. It just seems like something GameStop would do. That's pretty cool. Like I said, it's cool exchanging boxes, but it's also cool because I've watched this channel for over a year. So it's at the same time, it's, I don't know, it's cool. Let's see what we got here. A woman's self-defense keychain. Oh, look, it's a freaking brass knuckles. 
Look at the back of it. You put your fingers through the cat's eyes, and then basically you knock the hell out of somebody with those pointy ears right there. That's actually pretty freaking sweet. I think not when we were in Atlantic City, but last time we took a trip out, it just reminded me of it. We went in a thrift shop, and I found a piece, uh, not a piece, one of those brass knuckles that are like rainbow ones that are really usually like 30 or 40 bucks for 15 or 20 cents, something like that. I think that was in North Carolina when we were there. I don't remember. But a pair of brass knuckles, like a 50 or $60 pair of knuckles for 15 cents, which is, that was epic. But this is cool. Like, I'm a man, and I think that's pretty cool. What else we got in here? A hand spinner. Let's take it out. I used to find these, like, fidget spinners so much for five below. They just seemed like they fell off the face of the earth. Like, at one second, everyone in the world wanted a fidget spinner. And the next second, nobody cared about them. I don't know why. I feel like slow when I find this fun, but it's kind of cool to see how long I keep it balancing. Oh, well, it's going to go forever. I think everyone else saw a fidget spinner works. Ooh, look what I see. Dun, dun. Grand Theft Auto 3. Now, I think this is actually the one I do not have on PlayStation 2. I love all Grand Theft Auto. I have, um, let's see, I know I have Vice City, Vice City Stories, San Andreas, Liberty City Stories. For any of you guys that also collect video games or play Grand Theft Auto, I think I had every single Grand Theft Auto game on PS2, including even the PS1 ones. I think I have one and two somewhere, too, but this is like the only one I didn't have. And look what's in it. San Andreas. <laughs> The best one, though. San Andreas is, I don't care how nice GTA 5 looks and how nice GTA 4 looks and how long online play. Is that a freaking fly? But anyway, I don't really care how nice the graphics in those games look. San Andreas is, without a doubt, the best Grand Theft Auto game ever, ever, ever created. It just, there's nothing more satisfying than flying around the city in a freaking jetpack shooting down blimps with an RPG, fly, like, I don't know. San Andreas just had the best cheat codes and the best overall stuff. We got, let's see, a Belkin, what is it? Oh, this is a charge, like a portable charger right here. This is heavy, too. Like, this must be a really high quality one right here. I'm about to open it up. I used to have these and I broke it. When Pokemon Go first came out, man, we used to go by, where, I forgot where it was. Somewhere in D.C. It was like a huge place that everyone played Pokemon Go. And we would go there all the time with power banks, like two power banks and full charge. Then have to charge the phone on the way there. Pokemon Go was awesome. I'm just going to open it. I'm not planning on, I'm planning on using it, so I'm just going to rip it open. I don't know why I'm trying to do it the nice way. Oh, it had a nice opening on the front. Should have noticed that, but still, it looks like a high quality power bank right there, which is definitely something I need, so that's awesome. My phone's three years old. I actually like three and a half years old, so it doesn't last as long as it used to. Branded Exploration Squad on the Apple gift card. Look at that. See, that this is the main reason I love their channel because all the Apple stores are in like a 200 mile radius. I've looked this up before. Like a 200 some mile radius for me are all in malls. Like you know how sweet it would be to go to the Apple stores. And even though I'm not an Apple fan myself, I just like to f watching them find it. Cause you know, I mean, probably a free, they probably charge you to give get a gift card. It's Apple, everything's way overpriced and super expensive. So the smallest thing you find is like a huge megaphone. What is this? From the bank video. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. It's the key from the abandoned bank video. Look at that. We now have the key to a bank somewhere. Time to get our ski masks, time to go load up my nine, and we're gonna go get, okay, I'm just joking for some freaking copper FBI that comes outside of my house tomorrow. I wake up and see people sitting out there in a black van, which is potentially possible. I would not even be surprised. But yeah, that is it. That's pretty awesome freaking box. So let's go through everything again. This stuff, like I said, this stuff's just cool to me because I've been watching the videos for a long time. So I'm just a fan. So just having stuff like that's cool. That's pretty sweet. And all the little paper things I'm just going to add to the door because they did, it came in the mail, so it counts. <laughs> Along with that, right there. Let's see, the Belkin charger, which I said, definitely, definitely going to be using. GTA 3 case, with got San Andreas in it, which is fine because my San I only have one copy of it. It's kind of scratched up. I still play it way too much. And it's kind of scratched up and it freezes at a certain mission and I cannot finish the campaign, which is driving me nuts. So now I can do that. This, like I said, you know I'm a guy. I just wanna, I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna hit something. I don't know what yet. Maybe a cardboard, just box or something like that. Let's just see how powerful it is. This is kinda cool because I know where it came from, the video. I remember that's just pretty cool to have right there. And it has the 
price tag on the back of it. And this, like I said again, I left mine in Atlantic City, so <laughs> glad I have that. This, let's see what I'm not gonna do. Oh, let's see, 25 bicycles. <laughs> not. I'll go eat 25 sausages after this, that'll count. Oh man, okay, let's see. The dog, the fidget spinner. The best thing of all, like I said, going right on my wall, right next to me. I'm gonna go to sleep looking at Jake Paul every single night. <laughs> okay, but this is pretty funny, I'll give you that. The two hats, and then the giant letter, which is again, that. This stuff right here will definitely be going on the door. So, awesome video. It's just sweet to see all this stuff and sweet to have it. So, let me got, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And again, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. And mystery box videos too. I mean, this stuff came from the dumpster. It's dumpster diving, right? Don't give me no doo-doo. Thank you so much for watching. I forgot to mention, social media links are in the description along with the P.O. box if you want to send us anything. Anything that's going to be sent to us will always, always be open on video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.